I think we won't get a cease and desist for that. Oh, no. Speaking of, I got to... I, I know. I'm, I should have done that song. I'm dealing with a cease and desist no. from Germany because Germany has really weird copyright laws. So something could be public domain and okay in the U.S. and not, not in Germany. So I have to deal with that now. Anyways, oh. long story. Okay. okay. In the store, um, we have the Adabox 11s. So we've shipped them all out. And uh, here's one of the ones we have left over. So we have a couple in stock. Uh, if you haven't unboxed your Adabox, uh, turn away, close, close your eyes and cover your ears. But it comes with a Pi Portal um, with ADT 7410 from Analog Devices uh, and DigiKey sponsored this. It's really cool graphics. It's very space themed. We wanted to come with like, it's Pi Portal, but there's also space. It comes with an enclosure you can put on your desk um, and a, tw a two meter long cable. Um, so if you've been interested in Adabox, maybe you missed this one or maybe you really liked it and you want to give it as a gift, comes in a nice gift box ready to go uh it has everything you need to start making your own iot devices okay monochrome time Woo. we have that's the code yeah we have some e ink displays that are monochrome this one is just it's just a loop but it shows you actually how fast the up, uh, display updates um so we have tricolor displays and now we have monochrome and they're about the same price you're like well why would i ever get the monochrome when i could get three colors for the same price well, these are higher resolution. So they're, I think, like 30% more pixels. They're higher res than the tricolor. And they update a lot faster. So um, if you don't need that extra red spot color, also another thing is they don't have that pinkish hue, which the red, um, the red dye always kind of makes the display a little pinkish. Um, but the monochrome one, it's very crisp and clear. And again, it's much higher resolution. I think it's 150 by 122 pixels instead of like 104 by 122. So it is um, a nice display. You get more pixels on it. But just like the feathering before, um, it comes with an SD card on the back and some SRAM. So um, the eight kilobytes of display data or whatever it is, 6K, um, you don't have to store that in RAM because you do have to write the display all at once. Um, so what we do is we have an SRAM chip that you can write all your pixel data to and it buffers it for you. So you can use this display even with an Atmega 3, you know, 32U4, 328, or even an M0 where maybe you don't want to use all your RAM or CircuitPython where, again, you don't have a ton of RAM left over from frame buffer. Um, you can still do all the font and graphic stuff that you'd like, um, but without having to uh, lose all that RAM to a frame buffer. Okay, and we also have other ones. Oh, can you show the back real fast? Cause I, um, oh, you want to show the back? Yeah. So you plug a feather wing in, um, so you display there's a big reset button and an SD card that you can use to store fonts or files or whatever you like. And yeah, you just plug any feather wing into it. And then um, we also have a 1.54 inch e-ink monochrome display. Likewise, it's also higher resolution. Instead of 150 by 150, it's 200 by 200. Um, so it's a higher resolution display. It's monochrome, also updates faster. Um, this one's a breakout, so you can use it with any board. Comes with level shifting, so you can use it with three or five volt logic. Has an SRAM chip again to buffer that entire display for you. And um, I have the demo here. Um, it's actually running Circuit Python. Give it a second; it will. It's it alternates between the display, and it, so you can see. You see a faint image, but there you go. So you see how fast it updates. It updates only like a second or two um, compared to the tricolor. Getting that red. Yeah. Uh, color to display um, takes a lot of time. It takes like 16 seconds, whereas um, the monochrome displays update much, much faster. So this is an itsy bitsy M4 um, running it. You see a little bit of a ghost image. If you want, just um, refresh it twice and it'll, it'll get that ghost image uh, to go away. I was just in a rush, so I only did one refresh. But um, yeah, updates really fast. And of course, you know, it's low power. You can unplug it. Oh, I did it right in the middle of the refresh. That's but uh, cool. Yeah, so I got it right in the middle. But if it, it wasn't, the image would stay. Yeah. Hold on, I'll plug it right back in. And One of the start. things that I like as someone who gets to test these is when we use Circuit Python, it just shows up as a USB drive and you just drag your images over, which is way better than all the other ways of doing ink. Yeah, you can display um, bitmaps, you have bitmap code, and of course, uh, we'll be working on adding like all font support. In Arduino, it's, it's supported by GFX, which has a bunch of fonts. Yeah. Okay. 
Do you want to show this off again, or are you done with this? I have this, yeah, oh, hold on. Okay. I have to move fast. You wanted to show this before? So. Yeah, so there you go. If you, if you unplug it fast enough, you know, it, it stays on. It's it's bi-stable. Okay. It's pretty cool. And... Yeah, light, but monochromatic. Yeah, okay.